No, mother. I told you I am not at work. I don't work there anymore. That's probably why when you called, they said I wasn't there. It shouldn't be anybody there. They said all the bugs were gone. It, it does not matter where I am, mother. I do not have to put a tracker on my car. I am not. I am not beholden to you, and I am not under house arrest anymore. Mother, I gotta go. Okay. Uh, no. Please, please shut up a little bit. Bye. My goodness, you're beautiful. I mean, I didn't mean to just blurt that out. That just, I'm sorry. That just came out of nowhere. You are very attractive. I'm sorry. Don't mind me being on my cellular phone. I'll just put that away. Just, you know. I'm sorry. Well, yes, I, I don't. I know, ma'am. I do not have an appointment. Um, what is your name? My name is Carl. It is a devout devout. It is a pleasure to meet you. Can I kiss your hand? Can I no? Oh, my mask. Well, see, um I I, I am not medically um admissible to purvey allow the mask because see it's in something I tell everybody, but I live with my mother, okay? Rather, I'd rather say she lives with me in her house. Um, and my mother periodically experiences what is known as asthma. It's not the technical term. She has this asthma. And see, she breathes in these fibers and things from outdoors, and she has these coughing fits, and she just sounds like a cat hacking up a hairball and it's really awful and I find that when I wear a mask it may not be related but it seems that her asthma gets worse so in the interest of health and the the health of my mother which I think we would both agree is important I find that it's just safer to not wear the mask so well, I, that is my personal research. I do not know what the doctors say. I tend to not put a lot of stock in them. See, I, I look at the world this way. See, you've got to look at what you experience. And my experience tells me that her asthma, have you heard of asthma? I don't know that you have. Her asthma is inflamed. And it's got something to do with me going out in public with the mask on. Of course, I hadn't gone out with a mask on because I have night blindness. You see, it exacerbates that. So, it's complicated. But I, I promise you, I feel fine. I think we're all right. Would you be able to help me today? I hadn't told you what I'm here for. I don't reckon you can if you don't know. <laughs> You're smart and pretty. I like that. That's 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 a nice, that's a unique combination. I don't want to touch your things here. See, here, here's the thing. I don't want you to tell anybody this, but see. This Friday is my mother's birthday. <laughs> It's very exciting. It's, it's a milestone birthday, but she won't tell me which one it is. She was kind enough to tell me what day it was on. But she, she said that a lady, how did she say it? A lady never reveals her age. All she'll tell me is that she's as old as her nose and a little bit older than her teeth. I said, you mean them things you put in a glass every night? You're a lot older than them teeth. She didn't like that too good. She took my lasagna away. Clean took my plate. Left me sitting there with nothing to eat. That's neither here nor there. But she said she did tell me it was a milestone birthday. So I don't know what that means. I mean, for you ladies, I mean, what would be, what would be a milestone birthday? I mean, how old are you? I'm not supposed to ask that. Mother said, so don't ever ask a woman her age. That's very rude. Just assume. Just assume that she's 18. Tell her she looks no older than 18 and you'll be set for life. <laughs> Are you 18? I reckon you gotta be at least 18 to work here. I, I, 
yes, ma'am, I, you are right. It is not any of my business. You are absolutely right. It is a very touchy subject for a lady. I understand that because getting older is just so, it's rough on y'all. I mean, men, you know, we just, we get more distinguished and, and y'all just kind of, no offense, y'all just kind of fall apart. You know, you don't you don't look. It's for a man they say they look distinguished, and a woman they just say she hit the wall. You heard that term "hit the wall." Every woman hits the wall. I have this neighbor. He's he's a MGTOW, and he said that there's a wall. Do you know about that? He's very angry most of the time. He's a very angry man. He's always stomping around and swearing. I would never bring you around that. I mean, if, like, say, we were to go out, hypothetical, if we were to go on a date, I'd just make sure if I ever brought you back to my home, nothing inappropriate, but if I brought you back, I'd make sure it was on a day that he was off at one of his events or something, you know. They walk around talking about how women don't run their lives, and then women's all they talk about. I don't understand it. But that's neither here nor there. So it's my mother's milestone birthday. And I wanted to do something special. I mean, for all I know, she's a hundred. She looks like she's a thousand some mornings. You catch her in the morning when she first gets out of bed, Lord, it's scary. She's got she ain't got her wig on, she ain't got her teeth in. It's just she she kinda looks like a one of those little mussels that lives in the ocean. You know, they don't have any bones and they just kind of flop around. Kind of like that. So, I thought it would be a nice gesture to come in here to your fine establishment and, uh, and, and drop some money on some nice products that would help, you know, bolster everything. Like, she needs some scaffolding and maybe some spackle, stucco, bondo. Well, I mean, whatever you got. I don't know. My problem is, I don't know diddly squat about lady products. I'm not talking about lady products. I'm talking about lady products. We won't go into the other. I have no idea what she needs. And see, it's a surprise. I can't bring her in here. Plus, she gets car sick. And I have to put plastic sheeting down in the car. And it's very inconvenient. I, but it would ruin the surprise. So, I was just wondering if you could help me pick some products for my dear mother. Her what? What's that? Skin tone? Like, what? Like, what do you mean? Like, does she look like a leather belt or, you know, a skin chicken? I, well, skin, just the complexion? Well, she's kind of like me, only busted and, and real old. Just real painfully old. I mean, she, she probably went to school with Moses. I, I can't tell you. It, well, I don't medium, I reckon. I don't know. What, you, what do you call this? Medium? Medium well done? I don't know. Medium rare. Okay. Like, a, I guess that's like a steak or something. I don't know. Can you can you show me some stuff? Well, I was thinking, okay. Well, what do you have? I mean, you, have, you are a lovely lady. I mean, you've got the beautiful skin. And no offense, but there's no way on God's green earth you look that way naturally. I mean cosmetics okay makeup i could do some maybe get her some makeup it wouldn't hurt put a little paint on the barn skin care products yes do you have stuff beyond like sea breeze and noxema because that's the only skin care i know of and maybe some bar of soap for your face ivory soap's good there's nothing in it you can wash your face with that well you got nice products i mean it's you know i i noticed though that none of them have price tags on them that's probably not a good sign is it unless it's like dollar tree i mean dollar tree doesn't put prices on their stuff and i come out of there feeling like i just you know, got a millionaire got two bags full of stuff and cost me twenty dollars that's probably not a good experience here is it i can walk out of here with a little bit in the palm of my hand it's gonna be a hundred dollars but it's for mother, and you know, I, sometimes at night, I fantasize about, you know, just getting a baseball bat, but most of the time, I, I think a lot of my mother, I do, she's, she's always looked after me, you know, my father, 
went out for cigarettes, and that was the end of that. I was just knee-high to a beer barrel. He was gone. And Mother had to do on her own. Oh, oh I guess I do work. I do work at Food Line. Thank you for noticing. I am a new associate. I am so new. They have not given me a name tag. There's eyelets in my shirt. They're sewn in, and you stick it through the holes when you get a name tag. But I'm on probation. Not like probation. Probation. Not anymore. But I mean at the store. See, thing was, I'll let you go in a minute. Thing was, I had this job as an exterminator. And one day, I got in there early, and they caught me huffing paint in the back. And the next day, I got a call from HR. You know about HR? It's not a person. It's a department. I reckon they have them elsewhere. Probably got it here. HR called me. Makes me think of HR puffing stuff. But HR puffing stuff is a whole lot better in this conversation. HR lady said, You know, Mr. Carl, um, we just wanted to let you know that we will no longer be needing your services. I said, Well, why not? HR person, and she said, well, it seems that we've killed all the bugs. There's no more bugs to kill, so we just don't need you anymore. We've taken care of all of it. And I said, well, I'll be darned. All the bugs are dead. All the termites, fleas, ants, bed bugs, you know, critters of all types. They're just all gone. I think we did too good of a job. So they didn't need me anymore. So I don't work there anymore. They they let me know they didn't need me. So, I mean, it's a good thing. It's a trade-off. It was kind of bittersweet because I kind of like that job. I got to crawl under people's houses. I found an old comb in the last house I went in. It was still good. I took it home. I cleaned it up with Lysol, and, and it works good. Um found a tricycle under there one time couldn't do anything with that so i just left it there but you find things like a treasure hunt and then sometimes you find a little black wooded spiders and brown recluses and if they bite you you're gonna have problems because it just it just kills the flesh you see you don't feel it right away i'm sorry that's nasty i don't want to talk nasty to you i mean i'm not mean nasty nasty but that's not what we're here for so do you have basically i think what we need is we need to focus on the most urgent stuff for for mother i think it would be filling in the cracks minimizing further wrinkles and fault lines um and and covering up whatever whatever we can and highlighting the best features do you have anything like that that we can do even though we don't have her here? Like, just imagine me. I mean, if you could imagine me as an old woman. I mean, like, real old. Like, obscenely old. With, but just, you know, like a horror movie. Kind of like Freddy Krueger, but without the burns or whatever happened to him. And she does wear the same sweater a lot, so it's kind of like Freddy Krueger. Only she's a lot shorter, and her voice is scratchy. Do you got anything in the back or any somewhere special? If you got anything on clearance, that'd be good. Oh, y'all don't do clearance? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. Um, anything you got would be good. I'll just, um, I'll just wait here and, uh, and okay, I'm, I'm going to call mother. She's worried about me. worried about somebody yet yeah, mother no it's not the police it's Carl why would it be the police did you call the police are they looking for me you, if you put out another silver alert I am not making you hamburgers tonight I don't care if Friday is your birthday you can't run and fly off like that every time I don't come home straight away now I'm busy it does not matter what I am busy doing, Mother. I am a grown man. I got my own life. I do, too. I, I do. Okay, now you go lay down. Did you take your heart pill? 
go check and there's a timer on the cap. Now look at the timer and it'll tell you last time you took it. Go look at it, take your pill and go lay down for a little bit. Get you some water, go to the bathroom before you lay down. Remember what happened the other day? Okay. I, I don't I don't want any porridge. You know I don't like porridge. Mother, that's fine. I gotta go. Go go take your pill, lay down. And pee first. Bye. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. I don't think she took her heart pill. I have to remind her every day. I got these caps. It's the neatest thing. They have timers on them. And, and every time you unscrew the cap, it resets the timer. And it will show you how many minutes it's been since the last time you opened it. It does hours, minutes, seconds. That way, she can look at it and see the last time she took a pill. It's genius, but she still doesn't remember to look. I can't do everything. There was one thing I wanted to ask you. Thank you for laying all that out. My goodness. That's, I see now, I, I'm so glad you're here, and you're so pretty to look at, and you're smart. I wouldn't even know where to start with all this stuff. Does she need all this? Will this help, will this help her? Oh, my goodness. Okay, but can, can I ask you something, though? Do y'all do sell scent? I noticed y'all had some pretty bottles of stuff up there, but they had names on them, and I don't know what that means, like happiness and juicy, and is that scent? Is that scent? Like you spray on? Well, I, I, had, I had a question. Every now and then, if you look around up there, there were these little containers of coffee beans. Now, are those just for anybody? Because I'm running low at the house. I, oh, oh. What's a palette? Like you paint? What are you talking about? Cleanse. Oh, so they don't all smell the same. So if they all smell the same, why do you buy different kinds? Why can't you just get, why, why isn't there just one kind of perfume? Why do y'all have to have so many? I mean, it's not your fault. You don't make the decisions here. I just wonder. Well, there's, there's this one, there's this one kind that I got mother. See, problem is, she says she's allergic to cheap perfume. I proved her wrong with that. See, I went to Dollar Tree this one time, and I found, I found, I found this stuff. I wanted to test her theory on the cheap perfume, and I, I took it home. And I said, Mother, I got this expensive perfume. It's straight from France. I didn't mean to whip that out at you. It's quite phallic, but I got this right here. It's called, it's literally called Nice Lady, which is funny because my mom can be a real machete mouth bitty sometimes. She put this on and said she felt like a princess. I got it for a dollar. It's two and a half ounces for a dollar. And it doesn't smell bad. Do you want to try it? I can spray some on you. No. Well, I don't want it to clash with you know. Do you have any nice lady? Because I have not been able to find it in any of the Dollar Tree since I got this one. And I want to get another one just to keep her going. Well, here, smell it. Smell that. You got anything that smells like that? Oh, I didn't mean to make you start sneezing. I'm sorry. I think it smells kind of nice myself. It's not bad for lady scent. The bottle's a little questionable. I'm starting to wonder why she likes it so much. It may not be the smell. But never mind. If you don't have it, I'll just not. I'll just take it home. Reckon my search continues. I'm single, by the way. Are you single? You. Oh, you're blushing though. I reckon you might be. <laughs> well, I don't know why you'd be blushing if you had a boyfriend. You're not married, are you? I don't see a ring anywhere. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yes, ma'am. It is. None of I'm sorry. I, I can't help myself. See, I'm just like a bear. I'm walking through the woods and I see a honey pot. I gotta say something. I gotta come and, you know, try to grab it. I mean, I wouldn't grab you. But if I could, I mean, if I were allowed to, I wouldn't do it hard. I would just kind of lightly grab you like the honey pot, you know, and then stick your face in it. I don't mean that dirty. I did not mean that. That was a bad analogy. I'm very sorry. 
you're right, you're right. Let's focus on the products. Let's maybe I should just stop talking for a little bit. Thank you. This is open. Oh, it's a, it's just for okay. If this is just regular stock, but you sell these. What is it? They're stuck together. Are they mating? How do you get them apart? I don't. I can't. Okay. Cosmetic sponge rounds. Is that like SpongeBob makeup applicator? So you have to. Okay, you're telling me you gotta buy the product, and then you gotta buy something to put it on with. Can't you just put it on with your hand or a paint roller or something? I got a bunch of paint rollers in the garage. Can't I just give her one of those? I even have the small ones for the trim. That'd be perfect because her face is kind of shaped like a pie. And it'd be good for that. I don't think it's... I don't think it's irregular. See, thing about me, I like to think outside of the box. This, you know, I mean, these are fine, I'm sure. But why buy these if I've already got paint rollers? What 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 have skin care? All right. Tell me what kind of pomade you got. What's this? Neck firming. Neck firming. Hand plumper. That's hand plumper. Face serum for mouth and laugh lines. And here we have instant eye treatment, Cayman Repair, Vibrant Glamour. you got stuff for every part of the face here. Now tell me, can the skin really be that different on all the different parts of the face? I find that hard to believe. You see, my mother, God bless her, you look at her face, it's just uniform sadness. I need to get her out more. The only place she'll go is bingo. And she got depressed there. See, she, she kept trying to hit on the men at bingo. Problem is their eyesight's failing and they can't hear nothing. And they refuse to get hearing aids because they think hearing aids are for old people. And these people refuse to admit that they're old. Like 500 years old. So she goes up and she tries her clever lines. I mean, you know, that's where I get mine from. I get my charm from my mother. I admit it. I give her credit for that. You know, she'd go up to a man and say, Hey, big spender, won't you spend some time on me? And they go, huh? And she repeats it and they say, what? I know this because I have to take her to bingo. And then she gets mad at him and then she swings her pocketbook at him and it just goes downhill from there. They don't want to hang out with a woman that hits them with a pocketbook. These poor men probably married for 50 years to a woman that did that. But it's like flashbacks. They won't be around her. So every, all of them have gotten where they sit on the other side of the room. They don't even want to be near her. Plus, with the social distancing and everything, they got an excuse to get away from her now. And she blames it on me. She'll say, Carl, you're, you're, you're blocking my joy. You're stealing my joy. I can't, can't talk to anybody. You just come in and you intervene. She makes it my fault. And I tell her mother, I didn't have nothing to do with that. I was over there getting coffee. I just happened to witness the whole thing. Now you just scare the men off with your strange face. I said, mother, I look just like you. Exactly. Men don't look like that. She has some very antiquated ideas. And I don't appreciate being blamed for everything. She can't, she can't accept the blame for the stuff she does. But that's, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to complain. It just kind of happens. Now, if we're looking for just a, a moisturizer, do you just have something that we can slather onto her big old face and just make it better? Can we just undo years of depression and smoking and, Sunburns. You got anything for that? That's supposed. To, oh, oh. All right. Let me see. All right. Esotique with Matrixel. Didn't they make a three-part movie about Matrixel? It had Keanu Reeves in it. 
believe they did. That's not air you're breathing. <laughs> hey, can I try this? Is this a tester? It smells like pancake batter. Doesn't it? I can't. Can I put some of this on my hand? You just you just mush it in there like spackle. Is that what this is for? You gonna spackle in the holes? Oh, you got another product for that. Well, I'll be. I'm gonna mush some of this on my hand. Look, I look younger already. Don't I look nice? Hey, uh, do you like McDonald's? I mean, you know, like, is there anything at McDonald's you find especially appealing? Personally, you know, I, I kind of like their fried, they, they have this McChicken sandwich. And it, it's, it's just a little, it's like a giant chicken nugget on a sandwich, basically, with a little bit of lettuce and way too much mayonnaise. Do you like McDonald's? Like, if you, if you didn't have me, like, say you didn't have anything to do this evening, what time do you get off work? Oh, I understand, but you know, theoretically, if you didn't have anywhere to go, and say you were to meet a nice youngish man that, that recently became employed at Fulan, do you think you might be interested in going through the drive through Because they don't have the dining room open yet, and you, I have a Chevy Nova, and we could sit in the car, and, uh, and maybe listen to the radio, and eat our food, and talk about life. You want to do that? Would you be interested in doing that with an, a nice kind of sort of reasonably young man? No. Well, I, would that just I'm just gonna leave it an open invitation, and I, I would not. It's I wouldn't take it there because I'm cheap. See, I, I'm not. I, I every now and then I do go to Harris Teeter without coupons, and I would totally do that for you. I mean, if you wanted to go to Harris Teeter. And get one of the little sandwiches back there. I could do that. Those are never on sale. Unless you get there at the end of the day. Then you might find one for half price. But they're a little soggy. And I would not treat you to a soggy sandwich. Not on the first date. You have to get to know each other better. Before you get into soggy sandwiches. And stuff like that. Okay. You do like this. Well I, I think anything you like. I like. And I, I think that Mother would just love this. And I know she would love to meet you. You know, maybe you could come over and we could do a party. Maybe we could just have a, a party for Mother. What, what do you think about doing that? No? Well, I'm just getting shot down left and right today. Now I know how she feels at the bingo hall. Only I can't use the excuse of an annoying son and bad hearing. Well, I'll tell you what. I will take this two ounce, not this one, but a fresh two ounce uh, container of this. I will take this. I don't want to know the total yet because I'm saving my heart attack for later. I'll take that. And here we have a deep firming serum, liposomal vitamin C, anhydrous. Anhy I believe I went to school with an anhydrous. That name sounds familiar. You know an anhydrous? Swanee, I believe she was one of our cheerleaders. I used to like to sit down front when they did their splits. Mm. That was a fun night. Well, what do you do with it? Oh. Smells like vodka. So you take these little drops and you smear them on your face. Is this, now, is this just for the face or do you have to put it all over the place? Just the face. And then this will help get rid of all those wrinkles she's got. It will minimize the appearance of wrinkles. Are you serious? Theoretically, do you suppose that a youngish man could benefit from such a product to be to appear less distinguished so people would stop thinking he was older than he was? You reckon that'd work for somebody? 
because maybe I might get this from other and steal it occasionally, theoretically. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll take this, this DFS, because you recommend it, right? Is this glass? Lord, I hope she doesn't drop it. I may have to apply it to her face because she has a hook hand. I don't, did I mention that? She lost her hand in a knitting accident about five years ago. And when you meet her, don't stare because it makes her really self-conscious. She paints it up. She she put she took pipe cleaners and put attached it to the hook and painted them like na they they have nails. She's very very self-conscious about it. Now, like I said, she did smoke. So she's got these little lines here, you know, from sucking on the cigarettes. It purses your lips together and it gives you wrinkles on the top of your lip. Now, is that what this does for mouth and laugh lines? Well, Mother definitely has no laugh lines. That woman laughs at nothing. Last time she laughed was when I had to get a tooth pulled. And I had to take a cab back to the house. And I stumbled out of the cab. And I tripped and I face planted right on the sidewalk. I didn't think she was ever going to stop laughing. I, I knocked out when I came to. She's still laughing. And it was dark out. She just went in the house and left me there. So that's about the only time she's laughed in the last decade. But so you just take this cream and you do that right there. Would it affect a mustache, you reckon? Because she has a little bit of one. But don't stare at that either because she refuses to see it. I don't know how. I don't know how you look in the mirror and not see that, but she just refuses to believe it. I don't want it to gunk up in her mustache. How big is that? An ounce. That's only an ounce. And this is only an ounce. It can't be that much. I'll just go ahead and get both of those. All right. Now, you said this here is called what? Magic Hands. Hand Plumper Anti-Aging Daily Moisturizer. See, I'm really disappointed that none of these have a smell because it seems to me like if you if you I mean y'all have premium products right this is why I came here and not Walgreens you got you got premium products it seems like you'd want to smell nice you know get some nice lady going in there or something uh, I guess I'll take that too it couldn't hurt she only has the one hand. I'll have to put it on there because when you're putting on lotion, you kind of need both hands. I'm very familiar with lotion. Okay, now we didn't talk about this. Environmental Shield. Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. Is that what those little spots are called? Are you talking about on the hand, the little liver spots? Why do they call them liver spots? Do you know? Because I've been eating liver all my life and it doesn't look anything like what she has on her hands. Does this have a smell? So I don't know where to put it. Oh, it's a gel. It just smells like alcohol. So you just smush it all over the hand like that. Smell that. That smells like that smells like bug spray. But she'll like that. Bugs love her. They're attracted to her. I think it's her pheromones or something. Whatever it is that deters the men at bingo. Boy, it drives the bugs crazy outside. She can't step outdoors if mosquitoes eat her up. Alright. I will take all of that. They're small. So I'm not really worried about the price at this point. Now we have this Cayman eye cream. Do you realize it has the Lacosta, the little Izod uh, alligator on it? Wouldn't that be a trademark infringement? It might not be because, I don't know if you know this, if you have two totally different products, you can make the argument to the patent office that it is not trademark infringement because nobody is going to confuse this with a Lacosta shirt. That's why they might be able to use that little alligator on there because it's eye cream. Unless it's a bootleg from somewhere. 
I'm not saying y'all sell bootleg products. What did I say? Vibrant Glamour contains an law contains natural crocodile oil skincare essence. Are you telling me that crocodiles are in the skincare business? Crocodile oil skincare essence. So you're extra. How does a crocodile know how to make oil that has a skincare essence in it? Have you ever thought about this? These products are confusing with lightweight texture and easy to absorb. So that's for your eyes. Oh, it's slanted like this. You could do this away. I probably have to do it for. Let's see. What does crocodile oil smell like? It smells like nothing. I can't tell. Okay, let me. All right. Let me ask you something. Because I'm assuming this here is way cheaper than this here. But when I put it on my hand, it feels exactly the same. Now, why would I pay more for something that's like this right here? Well, how am I supposed to know? I mean, if they feel the same, they can't be that much different. Haven't you ever stopped and thought about the fact that a lot of the stuff in here is just completely pointless? And a lot of it is du this duplicative I mean, it's like redundant. It's it's just redundant. It seems like you're just buying four or five of the same things and you're putting it on different parts of your face for no reason. Have you ever thought that that might be the case? You ever considered that possibility? It's just occurring to me, and, and you got to forgive my ignorance. I'm, not, I'm certainly not accustomed to very fine establishments like this. I, and I, I don't mean to disrespect you or your profession. I'm sure you, you know, spent a lot of time learning about these things. And but tell me, tell me what, what, how much is this? That's for a case, right? Okay. I'm, 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 I'm trying to process. I'm trying to process. Okay, but this right here, this can't be any more than, what is this, $5? I, I don't want to go any further. I, I, no, no, no. I, st I still want to get it because I, I am a man of my word. And I know you work on commission. And I would love to see your pretty smile when you find out how much you're going to make from this sale. Can I get a little preview? Oh, maybe later. That's right. We'll look at the cosmetics. But you have this neck firming. Now, again, we got more product. Chest, neck, and face lifting serum. Now, why can't I just give her this? Can't we just treat it all with this? This, to me, to me, this is like the miracle grow of skincare. You can just throw it on anything and it'll make it grow better. Can't we just call this, get this and call it a day? Why do we need all that other stuff? That's why I'm saying you might want to reconsider your profession because I'm telling you right now, young lady, a lot of these products in here are not necessary. I mean, they're just, I know you're trying to make money, but if we're being honest with ourselves, the emperor has no clothes, okay? I'm just saying. Or it's a, making a big deal out of stuff that is just, it's not warranted at all. And I don't care what person in a lab coat in an advertisement, you know, looking in a magnifying glass tells you about these beauty products. There's nothing scientific about it. It's glorified snake oil. No offense. But, but you know, I see your lovely face and I just want to make you happy. So I, I want to go ahead and get these. It'll make mother happy. It'll make you happy. And that makes me happy. Mother's never happy for long, so I'm not even worried about that. But it'll make you happy. Okay, now, are we getting into, what is this? Purlissy, Purlissy, Purlissy. Am I close? No. Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. Sounds like a drink I'd get at the beach. 
lightweight all free gel cream refreshes and moisturizes this this is it here this is it this is a tester now does this go on before the makeup how many layers of stuff are we talking about here because you got your you got all your pomades here you got all your tinctures you can put all that on you got to do a map of your face we're going to draw lines because some of it goes here some of it goes up here some goes here some goes here women are tiresome no offense i don't know how y'all deal with this every day i get up i shave i throw on whatever i gotta wear speaking of which what do you think of my necklace i got this at the mall there was a bunch of teenagers there and one of them was working there and he said that totally makes you look 10 years younger makes you look adventurous do you think this makes me look adventurous or should i tuck it in like make hide it so it just peeks out every now and then does that do anything for you does that get get anything going for you just a little peek of it just on that no well i probably shouldn't ask you about that you know when i worked at by best i'd only been there for a week and i tried to talk to this lady that worked ever in the geek squad and, uh, and I was talking to her about my necklace. The next thing I know, we had to go to a sexual harassment seminar. A seminar and everybody was sitting away from me like I smelled bad. And I kept hearing everybody say, that Carl, that Carl. And they kept looking back and glaring at me like I did something. I was about the time I lost my job. Well, it wasn't too long after that. All I did was ask a woman about her pants. I just wanted to know how she got them to fit like that. And the next thing I know, they were showing me the door. I got to learn how to talk to people. I, I just seem to have difficulty. Do you think mother needs this? So we've got our spack. What would you consider the spackle? The moisturizer is not a spackle. We got moisturizer. We got hydrating aqua balm. Is that like lip balm? It smells like Jolly Ranchers. So we're gonna do a layer of this. It smells just like a Jolly Rancher. Of per Perlissi. And then we do, we, are we ever gonna get to the makeup part? Oh no, then we have, what is this? Pour. That's what I'm gonna be when I get done buying all this. The pour professional. It's a hydrating primer. Oh, this is your spackle. Okay, because see, I put primer all over my Nova. So you smear this on over the hydrate, the, the balm. That fills in all the cracks and the holes and everything. Okay. Well, we definitely need that for Mother. I want to get... Can't you get these in bigger buckets or something? Don't you have like, you know, because Bondo, you can get that in a tub with that trowel and you can just hoof it on there. We need that for Mother. I need like the bucket of this poor professional here. You got another one? Well, I don't see it. Where'd it go? Oh, this right here. Juice Beauty. That's a weird name. Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. Oh, and the color is luminous. Mother is a lot of things. I don't believe I'd go as far as to say she's luminous. Let's see what this does. Anything to brighten up that sour puss of hers would be welcome for me. Now this goes on slicker. This is not as wet or something. Yeah, it smells like fabric softener. Yeah. Well, for spackle, nah, this poor professional's better. This didn't cover up anything. Definitely going with the poor professional. That's a hundred thousand times better. But I want it in a bigger size. What's the biggest size I can get this in? Cause and I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a bigger trowel than this to put it on. Okay, cause we're talking about major holes and gullies and valleys it's like the blue Ridge parkway like just well just if i could just get the biggest one of that you got 
Now foundation. That's pretty close. That's not too bad. Don't mind me smelling everything. It's just I mother would kill me if I told anybody this so don't tell her okay I'm saying if you ever meet her you know like if I brought you over for tea or something do you like tea yeah, uh, me neither so she gets these hairs that grow out of her ear and she can't see good enough to get them so I have to get them out so I get close to her face a lot I'm gonna have to smell all these products I just want to know what I'm in for all right so this is what do you do with this Oh, I need it. This is what the applicator is for. So I put it on here. Or she puts it on and then just whoops it on her face. Well, how come she can't just turn her face like that and just pour it on there? Wouldn't that be faster? Can't you just glug some on there? Well, she uses this kind of stuff. I reckon she knows how to do it. I'll, I'll get that too. That's fine. Oh, here's another product. Is this is this chapstick? Nourish. Sally Ander. Sally Ander? Oh, it's an under eye treatment. She has bags under her eyes big enough to pack for vacation. Oh, it stinks. It smells like grass. Not grass grass, but like, you know, you just cut the lawn. So you just mush this under your eyes? Do you put this over the makeup or under the makeup? Under. So you got moisturizer, hydrating gel, primer, nourish. Do we have any other products that go with this here? All right. This goes under the makeup. All right. We'll take that. We got Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer from Elizabeth Mott. Who are all these people? Did they all go to school together and just decide to start companies? How come they sound like people I should know? Elizabeth Mott. Okay. So you take this. And again, the containers are so small. Can't we get them any bigger than this? Seems like it'd be economical. So you get some. This goes on the eye. The eyelids. What well, says eyeshadow primer? When you put it over the eyeshadow. Under the eyeshadow. Do you have a bigger container? Because she has these bags, and sometimes I swear they're just going to hang down to her chest one of these days. She has, you know how, you know how basset hounds, they're, what, I don't know what it is, like their jowls droop to the point where you, the, the red, like it pulls her eyes down like that. She's getting more and more like that every day. She's, I think she's turning into a basset hound. She barks at everybody enough. Oh, this is a fancy stick. This is what you poke people with when you get on your nerves. What's this for? A floofy brush. Mac Fix. Studio Mac. I've seen these in Mother's Purse, but I don't know what you do with them. Open it. There's a powder puff. There's a pad in here. Oops. I don't want to mess with that. It might have Verona. So you just do this right here. You get some on there and do it like that. Well, shoot, I could do that. Did it make me beautiful? Am I beautiful yet? I feel beautiful. I feel lovely. I don't like this mirror. It's lying to me. Well, I, I believe we'll take we'll take that foundation the powder and I will take this and when she gets on my nerves I can just turn it like I would never do that I would never stab her in the ear when she wasn't looking when she starts talking about how I ruined her life and she can't hear the TV and the price is right is on I would never do that and we oh we have what is this Wander Beauty Wanderess Seascape. And then there's some stuff down here that I can't read. Palette de, de Fards a Palpieris. Palette de Fards a Palpieris. Is that the name of the company? 
Uh, no, it's Wander Beauty. Oh. Oh, it's got... Look at all the pretty colors. Is this for the eyes? Like, you could... Now, would you use this? Could... Oh, you got more. My stars and garters. Look at that. You got little brushes here for everything. You, you are so smart. I wish I was as smart as you. You got... Oh, my. Look at all these brushes. This one says tapered blending. This one says nothing. Here's a little brush. A wooden brush. You ever watch a joy of painting? Bob Ross would love these little brushes here. These are adorable. So you could take one of these, get it in there, and put it on the eyes. Would you be willing to come over and teach us how to do that? Because we sure could use some help. Maybe you could come over and we could do a little makeup party. We could put makeup on. I could watch y'all do it, and uh, I'll make popcorn. Do you like Hawaiian punch? Have you... I don't mean it to be too bold, but have you ever tried Tahitian treat? Did you know that when they make Tahitian treat, they do it in a big wooden vat? That's a little bit of trivia, but they make it in a big wooden vat. Or they used to. They did. And uh, I could get some Tahitian treat and make popcorn. And then we could watch a movie with our made up faces. And you could teach us how. I think I think that'd be wonderful. I'd pay you. You know, if you just come to my house, I'll 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 give you money. Do you like money? I could give you money. No, we have to come here. Well, I don't know. It's kind of inconvenient because uh, see, mother doesn't get around too well. I got my night blindness. She has her what they call asthma, and uh, I'm just thinking, you know, it might be easier for everyone if you would just come to us. Like I could make it worth your while. I've got some Arby's coupons I could give you. Uh, those are those are worth their weight in gold. If you play your cards right, I might give you some Subway coupons too. How's that sound? That's the deal. You can't pass up. Or maybe you can. That's all right. So we've got more eyeshadow. Bote Basics. How come none of these people know how to spell? That's not, is that supposed to be beauty? That's not how you spell beauty. Bote. None of these people can spell. And what is the point of this? That's a good color for mother. Matches the bloodshot eyes. <laughs> smells expensive. And I've noticed the ones with the misspelled names cost more. I'll take it. Nomad. I need to give her that. Maybe if she wore... What is it? It's like a tiny compact. Maybe if she wore that, she wouldn't get mad. Is that an eyeshadow? What is that? Eyeshadow? So I could take this right here. Get some on there. And go boop, boop, boop. Huh. You think this would put her in a good mood? I reckon it would. Let's get her that. How come these things come in such tiny containers? Look. Do y'all just get off on selling things in small containers? I'm telling you, that big tub of Bondo, that's the way to go. You ever go in Advanced Auto Parts? They have big, you can get big tubs of Bondo in there. That's the way to go. That's what y'all need to start doing. Selling this stuff in big tubs, I'm telling you. You go find a whole new market, you start doing that. You get more people in here than you know what to do with. This is a sparkly loose powder. I, I better pass on that. She'll get it everywhere. Now here, again, they spelled colored rain wrong. They spelled it with a U, and then there's an E on the end of rain. 
I bet that's five times more than it should be. It's awfully sparkly. Of course, you know, if I put this on her at bingo, I could find her easier. Be like a Q-beam. I'm going to get that just so I can find her better. She's so short, you can't see her in the crowd. When they start milling around, they get excited about something. They bring out that decaf coffee, and they all just froth up like this. And they whoo, and they can't get over there fast enough. I don't know why in the world they're so excited about decaf coffee. You never saw anything like it in your life. I have quite a bit of stuff. Yes, I do. I'm going to take this and all of that. What's this? A brilliant eye brightener. I don't see anything brilliant about it. Oh, it has a shine. See, my concern is she's going to see this and think it's a pen. She'll just be trying to do her shopping list with it, and then she'll get mad at me for buying bad pens. Let's not get too complicated with that. And the last thing we have is an eyebrow pencil. Well, one thing my mother does not need is eyebrows. Let me tell you, she's got eyebrows for days. She's got woolly worms on her face. She needs an eyebrow minimizer. Do you have a bush hog I could buy? Because she needs one for those things on her face. Big old bushy. She looks like a, an owl. She could fly away with them things like wings. Now, we definitely do not need any eyebrow pencils. I need a weed whacker for the eyebrows. Okay, you, okay I'll take all that except for these things here that I moved. I want all of that and that. So, you going to total it up? I'm going to watch while you do it. It's not that I don't trust you. I just don't trust you. Oh, are you sure that decimal point's in the right place? That's my total. For for the for the big bondo size, right? The small ones. Uh ooh. Yeah, um do you take third party out of state checks? No. Um this is embarrassing. See, since I just started at Food Line, I don't, I don't have a really good cash flow right now because they only give me a few hours a week right now. I really hate to do this, and I think it's going to cause a real problem in our relationship, but I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to do that right now. Um, you know, maybe, maybe this. I, I can afford this. How much is this? Really? How much would you charge me for this pack that's damaged? Could I get it at 20% off? 50% off, maybe? You got a deal. You got it. See? You still won't get commission. Just, and it's not that I don't want that stuff. I just can't get it right now. But don't take that to mean that I'm not a stand-up man. I am a stand-up man. I, I am very well, well versed in many um, conversational adaptations sufficiently, and I would be very bereft of words if you could not foresee to give me in the future this purchase. What I mean to say, and we put this in a little clearer term, if you could just hang on to this to, for like a month. And let me come back and give me an excuse to see you again, which I would be very happy to do. I mean, I'd love to see you before then. If, you know, if you know what I mean. If you could go to McDonald's, we could do something at the house. You know, we could celebrate Mother's birthday together and do something like that. What do you say? No. Well, I'll tell you what, if you would, can you gift wrap this for me and just kind of pinch this off to make it look like it's just decoratively torn, 
like what do they call that shabby chic can you make this look like shabby chic for mother it would mean a lot to me if you yeah if you could just do that and and i hate that you got all this out for nothing but um, i promise i'll be back and uh yeah this is awkward so if you could just wrap that up um and uh, I'm, d do, you, do you take Walmart gift cards? Because I think I have enough on three Walmart gift cards to pay for that. You don't? Oh, this is embarrassing. Um, would you be willing to trade it for some nice lady? It's, it's really great top-notch perfume. I mean, no. Okay, well, yeah, this is embarrassing because now I can't get that either. Um, okay, well, I hate to say it, and I know I've already blown it, but I'm not going to be able to buy anything today. I'm really sorry. So if you would just put all that back, um, I'll be back. Give me a month, and I will buy all that from you if you're still here. You don't job hop, do you? I can't stand people that go from job to job. They can't keep a job anywhere. No. That's good. That's good to hear. Good girl. It's good to hear. Well, alrighty. Um, I'm just going to go because I can't help you and I think you're mad at me now. So, you're not mad? Really? You're not mad? Does this mean you go out with me? It was worth a try. Okay, well, thank you very much for your help. I'm mean, I really do appreciate it. You're you're so smart and intimidating. And I hope you can have a good day, even though I just blew your commission. I'll show myself out.